Deep beneath the ocean's surface, a powerful and unrelenting rumble marked the beginning of an extraordinary event. This seismic disturbance sent ripples across the globe, emanating from near the Challenger Deep, the deepest point of the Mariana Trench. In this remote and enigmatic location, a massive underwater volcano erupted with a scale that surpassed anything recorded by modern scientists, capturing the attention of researchers worldwide. The Mariana Trench, a geological marvel situated in the western Pacific Ocean, has long been shrouded in mystery. Spanning over 1,500 miles in length and plunging to depths nearing 36,000 feet, it is one of Earth's most fascinating natural formations. At its lowest point, the Challenger Deep, the crushing pressures are so intense that they would be fatal to a human without specialized protective equipment. It is within this almost alien environment, teeming with secrecy and extremes, that the planet has chosen to unveil its raw and breathtaking power. For decades, scientists have studied the Mariana Trench for its unique features. Hydrothermal vents, peculiar ecosystems, and unusual geological formations have made it an object of fascination. However, nothing could have prepared researchers for the explosive force that has now emerged from this region. An underwater volcano, previously unknown to scientists, has burst into life with an intensity that has shocked even the most seasoned geologists. The eruption began with a series of deep-sea earthquakes. Instruments placed along the Pacific Ocean floor detected unusual seismic activity, far deeper and more concentrated than usual. Initially, scientists believed it was just a routine tectonic event. After all, the Mariana Trench lies at the boundary between two major tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate, where grinding motion creates earthquakes and occasional volcanic activity. This time, the activity didn't stop. Over several hours, seismic waves intensified, reaching magnitudes that suggested something much larger was unfolding. Oceanographic monitoring stations detected rapid changes in water temperature and chemical composition, clear indicators that magma was on the move. The warning signs were undeniable, a massive volcanic eruption was imminent. Then it happened. Deep beneath the surface, at a depth of over 20,000 feet, the seabed ruptured. A torrent of molten magma, superheated gases, and ash erupted into the ocean. The force of the explosion sent shock waves rippling across the Pacific, and a plume of material reached several miles into the water column. The event was so powerful that it registered on seismometers worldwide, drawing immediate attention from scientists and emergency management teams. This eruption is unprecedented, not just because of its location, but because of its sheer scale and the mysteries it has revealed. Submarine eruptions are notoriously difficult to study due to their occurrence in remote and inaccessible parts of the ocean. However, this eruption, near the Challenger Deep, has offered a rare glimpse into the dynamic processes shaping our planet's interior. As the volcanic plume spread, it created a massive underwater cloud of ash and debris. The intense heat from the eruption caused the surrounding seawater to boil and vaporize, producing a phenomenon known as a submarine volcanic explosion. This remarkable event has reshaped the understanding of geological activity in one of Earth's most enigmatic regions. This process released vast amounts of energy, forming shock waves that traveled for hundreds of miles. One of the most remarkable aspects of the eruption is the volcanic island that has begun to form. Satellite images and deep-sea sonar scans have revealed a new landmass slowly rising from the ocean floor. While still submerged, this proto-island is already altering the seafloor's topography. Over time, it could emerge above the water surface, joining the ranks of volcanic islands formed in similar ways, such as Iceland and Hawaii. However, this eruption is not just a geological event, it is also an ecological one. The Mariana Trench is home to some of the most extreme and unique ecosystems on Earth. Organisms in this region have evolved to survive in complete darkness, under immense pressure, and with limited resources. The eruption has profoundly disrupted these ecosystems. Hydrothermal vent communities, which rely on chemical energy from the Earth's interior, have been buried under layers of ash and debris. Some species may face extinction, while others might adapt to the changing environment in ways that are not yet predictable. At the same time, the eruption has created new habitats. As the magma cools and solidifies, it forms volcanic rock that can serve as a substrate for marine life. Over time, these rocks may become colonized by corals, sponges, and other organisms, creating new ecosystems in the wake of destruction. 
This cycle of destruction and renewal is a testament to the resilience of life and the dynamic nature of our planet. The eruption's impact, however, extends far beyond the immediate area. The release of gases such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and methane into the ocean has triggered changes in water chemistry. These changes could have cascading effects on marine life, particularly in the surrounding regions. Acidification, for example, could harm coral reefs and shell-forming organisms, disrupting the food chain and affecting fisheries that millions of people rely on. The eruption has also raised concerns about tsunamis. While submarine eruptions typically do not generate large waves, the scale of this event and its proximity to steep underwater slopes have heightened fears of potential undersea landslides. If large volumes of material were to shift suddenly, they could displace enough water to create destructive waves. Coastal communities in the Pacific Rim are on high alert, with emergency management agencies closely monitoring the situation. In the weeks following the eruption, a multinational scientific effort has been launched to study the event. Research vessels equipped with advanced technology, such as remotely operated vehicles and autonomous underwater drones, have been dispatched to the area. These tools are providing unprecedented access to the eruption site, allowing scientists to collect samples, map the seafloor, and monitor ongoing activity. The data collected so far has already yielded fascinating insights. For instance, the magma from this eruption is unusually rich in rare earth elements, which are critical for modern technology. The discovery of resources such as those found in smartphones, electric vehicles, and renewable energy systems has sparked significant interest from the mining industry. The potential opportunities for deep-sea resource extraction have captivated stakeholders. However, this enthusiasm is tempered by ethical and environmental concerns, as deep-sea mining could devastate marine ecosystems. Simultaneously, the eruption has illuminated the deep earth processes driving volcanic activity. By analyzing the chemical composition of the magma, scientists can gain valuable insights into the materials and conditions within the Earth's mantle, where magma originates. This knowledge is critical for understanding the dynamics of plate tectonics and the role of volcanism in shaping our planet. As the world observes this unfolding event, it serves as a potent reminder of the Earth's immense power and complexity. The forces beneath the ocean starkly contrast with the seemingly calm surface we witness daily, underscoring the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet, a planet that is undeniably alive. The eruption near the Challenger Deep has reignited debates about humanity's relationship with nature. On one hand, it highlights our vulnerability to natural disasters and the limitations of human control, even with advanced technology and scientific knowledge. On the other hand, it underscores the importance of understanding and respecting the forces of nature. By studying such events, humanity can gain critical insights into Earth's systems and learn how to coexist with the planet we inhabit. Ongoing research is expected to yield new discoveries, each contributing to our understanding of the planet. The underwater volcano near the Challenger Deep has opened a new chapter in Earth's history, a story that is still being written. Whether this chapter ends in triumph, tragedy, or transformation remains unknown. However, it is clear that the eruption serves as a reminder of humanity's interconnectedness with Earth's processes and the importance of understanding these dynamics for our future. In the coming months and years, scientists, governments, and communities will face challenging questions about balancing exploration and conservation, preparing for and responding to natural disasters, and living sustainably on a constantly changing planet. The answers to these questions will shape not only our understanding of Earth but also our relationship with it. For now, the eruption near the Challenger Deep stands as a powerful and inspiring testament to the mysteries beneath the ocean's surface. It is a call to action for scientists, a source of wonder for the public, and a challenge for humanity as a whole. Looking to the future, it is evident that the story of this eruption is far from over. Its lessons will resonate for generations, reminding us of the magnitude, implications, and mysteries unearthed by such events. While initial studies have provided some clarity, the full story of the eruption is yet to unfold. The story is far from over. With every passing day, scientists uncover new details that deepen our understanding of this unprecedented geological phenomenon and raise critical questions about our planet's future. To truly grasp the scope and significance of this underwater eruption, it is essential to delve deeper into the science behind it, 
the unfolding consequences, and the broader context of Earth's tectonic and volcanic activity. This isn't just about one volcanic eruption, it is about the forces that shape our planet, the fragile balance of ecosystems, and humanity's role in studying and responding to these powerful natural events. The geological backdrop that made this event possible is key to understanding its significance. The Challenger Deep lies within the Mariana Trench, a region that is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. This area is a hotbed of tectonic activity, home to 75% of the world's active and dormant volcanoes and 90% of its earthquakes. The Ring of Fire is essentially a horseshoe-shaped belt of tectonic plate boundaries encircling the Pacific Ocean, where Earth's crustal plates constantly collide, pull apart, and slide past one another, creating immense geological stress. Within this volatile region, the Mariana Trench stands out. It is the result of subduction, where the Pacific Plate is being forced beneath the smaller Philippine Sea Plate. As the Pacific Plate descends into the mantle, it melts and generates magma, which rises to form volcanic features. Over millions of years, this process has created an extraordinary landscape of underwater peaks, valleys, and volcanic vents, some of which are now being transformed by the ongoing eruption. What sets this eruption apart from others is its location and scale. It is situated near the Challenger Deep, a place so remote and extreme that only a handful of people have ever visited it. The pressure at this depth is over 1,000 times greater than at sea level, making it one of the most hostile environments on Earth. Despite these conditions, the eruption has managed to send material and energy upwards, disrupting not just the local seafloor but potentially the entire Pacific Ocean. The scale of the eruption is unprecedented. Initial estimates suggest that the volume of magma released rivals that of some of the largest submarine eruptions in recorded history. This has created a massive volcanic edifice on the ocean floor, altering the landscape in ways scientists are only beginning to understand. Advanced sonar mapping reveals a structure that is rapidly growing, with lava flows spreading outward and piling up to form a new volcanic ridge. If the eruption continues at this rate, it could eventually breach the surface, forming a new island. Such an event would not be without precedent. The Pacific Ocean is dotted with volcanic islands that began as submarine eruptions. In 1963, the island of Surtsey emerged off the coast of Iceland after an underwater volcano erupted for nearly four years. Similarly, the Hawaiian Islands were formed by volcanic activity over millions of years. If the new volcano near the Challenger Deep follows this pattern, it could provide a rare opportunity to witness the birth of an island. However, the implications of this eruption extend far beyond geological curiosity. The release of volcanic gases, such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, into the ocean is significantly altering the chemical composition of the water. These changes are causing ripple effects on marine life, particularly in surrounding ecosystems. For instance, deep-sea hydrothermal vent communities, which are already adapted to extreme conditions, are now facing additional stresses from the eruption. While some species may thrive in the new environment, others may struggle to survive. The broader impact on the marine ecosystem is also considerable. Ash and debris from the eruption are spreading across the ocean floor, burying habitats and disrupting food chains. Simultaneously, the release of nutrients from the volcanic material is fueling algal blooms in the overlying waters. Although these blooms can temporarily boost productivity, they can also deplete oxygen levels, creating dead zones where marine life cannot survive. The potential for a tsunami remains a critical concern. While submarine eruptions typically do not generate tsunamis directly, the possibility of underwater landslides or the collapse of the volcanic structure poses a serious risk. If large volumes of material were to shift suddenly, the displaced water could generate waves capable of traveling vast distances. Coastal communities across the Pacific Rim are on high alert, closely monitoring systems for any signs of unusual activity. Beyond the immediate risks, the eruption has long-term implications for climate and global systems. The release of gases and particles into the ocean and atmosphere could influence weather patterns, ocean currents, and even the global carbon cycle. Submarine eruptions, while a natural part of Earth's processes, can interact with human activities such as industrial emissions and overfishing, creating complex challenges. One of the most fascinating aspects of this eruption is the scientific opportunity it presents. 
Researchers are employing advanced technology to study the event in real time, using remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, and autonomous underwater drones. These tools are capturing high-resolution images and videos of the eruption site, enabling scientists to analyze the dynamics of the eruption and its effects on the seafloor. The data being collected is invaluable for understanding not just this event but also the broader processes of underwater volcanism. By studying the composition of the magma, scientists gain insights into conditions within Earth's mantle and the role of subduction zones in generating volcanic activity. This knowledge is crucial for understanding the long-term evolution of our planet and its capacity to support life. The eruption has also sparked renewed interest in deep-sea exploration. The Challenger Deep and the surrounding Mariana Trench remain some of the least explored places on Earth, despite their importance for understanding geology, biology, and climate. This event serves as a reminder of the mysteries that lie beneath the ocean's surface and underscores the need for continued investment in oceanographic research. The renewed interest in volcanic activity comes with ethical and environmental challenges. The discovery of rare earth elements and other valuable materials in volcanic deposits has attracted the attention of the mining industry. Deep sea mining offers the potential to provide resources for renewable energy and advanced technologies. However, it also poses significant risks to marine ecosystems. Balancing the benefits of resource extraction with the need for conservation will be a critical challenge in the years ahead. As the world observes this unfolding event, it has also sparked a broader conversation about humanity's relationship with nature. The eruption serves as a stark reminder of the Earth's power and unpredictability, urging us to consider how we coexist with a planet that is constantly changing. It is a call to action for scientists, policymakers, and the public to work together to understand and protect our world. The eruption near the Challenger Deep is not just a geological event, it is a story of transformation, resilience, and discovery. It stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet and the incredible forces that shape it. As we continue to study this event and its aftermath, we are reminded of the importance of curiosity, collaboration, and stewardship in our quest to understand the Earth and our place within it. This moment is both awe-inspiring and inspiring, a vivid reminder that even in the depths of the ocean, far from human eyes, the Earth is alive with activity. The eruption has captured our imagination, challenging us to think about the mysteries that remain. This is a story that is still being written, with lessons that will resonate for generations to come. Ultimately, the eruption near the Challenger Deep is more than a scientific phenomenon, it is a window into the power and beauty of our planet. It reminds us of our profound connection to the Earth and serves as a call to action to explore, understand, and protect the world we share. As this story continues to unfold, it will undoubtedly shape our understanding of the Earth and our place within it.